It's Wisconsin. It's the uh, 12 degrees today on the 10th of January 2015 and what you see is my other apiary which I established this uh, summer. As you can see it's almost uh, not almost it's actually all nukes there's uh, 17 of them group of five group of four and a group of four and another group of four if you notice you can see that uh, the snow covered I've got insulation on the side a little bit of cardboard between them to keep them uh, the drafts out on the top there's just a plastic bag cover, two inch styrofoam, and a black, this is pan liner on the top, anything it doesn't really matter. The top entrance is reduced, and um, that's a three quarter inch gap, I reduced that. The entrance there is closed off, and way at the bottom we just have a little small opening on the entrance reducer. If you notice they're alternated, well you wouldn't know it's north and south, but they're alternated north and south. These are the south facing ones. Easy way to tell how they're doing is um, if you get here in the early morning before it's before the sun gets going, it these little holes become uh, become frost covered. If you look around here on the ones that are north facing on the day like today, they still are, and that's just frozen frozen bee breath. Bees are buzzing merrily in there. I set this apiary up because I wanted to see if there was anything particularly unique, unique about my home apiary that means I couldn't do it anywhere else. Well, um, somebody was kind enough to let me use this land and what I have is a a place where that face is south, I'm open to the south, but it's enclosed by woods on all the other side because I think the windbreak is important. So my plan is to, um, um, I'll be selling some of these to the people I've promised them to, and then others I'll be uh, growing an uh, individual nuke into a double deep and then dividing it, as I have been doing, in the style of Mel Disselkin, and then growing them back into nukes, um, as per Mike Palmer. So each of these colonies, as you can tell, just has 10 frames. There's five here, five here. This gives a person more chances going into winter than if you have one colony in three deeps for the same amount of resources. Of having one three deep colony you can have three ten frame colonies that's about it I wish it would warm up there's no sunshine it's really chilly <laughs> 